Welcome to Homemakers. Today we're going to be working on solar prints or cyanotype prints. So there are a lot of different companies that make uh, the solar paper. Today we're using this one. They make it in different sizes. This is a kind of a small one. I think it's five by, oh no, it's four by six. Um, so your kit doesn't have too much in it this time. You should have some uh, unexposed solar paper and you should have a plastic sheet. It may be smaller than this one. Um, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to gather something to put on, uh, on the paper, which is gonna be your print. So I just went outside and picked some plants, but you don't have to use plants. You can use um, anything that you have lying around that you think would make an interesting photo. So the basic process is going to be to arrange whatever you want to print on this paper. And you want to make sure that you do this indoors and you do it away from a window or any other um, light source where there might be sunlight coming through because that can expose your paper early and you don't want that. So you don't have to do this in a dark room, but you do need to do it in a room that doesn't have any sunlight. So you're gonna arrange this however you want it. And then this, you're gonna use when you're outside. And all it does really is just hold your um, plants or whatever you're using for your print down so that if it's windy outside, it doesn't blow away. So make sure not to touch this paper too much because I think it, something on your fingers, if they're not clean, will leave a little bit of a residue. Um, I'm gonna cut off my extra pieces here. Let's see how I want this to look. Let's see, I don't want that. So when I've got this arranged however I want, I'm going to take it outside. So I'm just going to let this let's see, sit on top here, smash it down a little bit. Okay, so this is ready to go outside. I'm going to show some finished examples just so you can kind of see what it looks like when they're done. Um, so when you go outside, you're going to place this in the sun for a few minutes. If it's a cloudy day, um, you may want to leave it outside a little bit longer. What you want is for all of this blue paper to become white. So I'll include a copy of this in your kit. Um, so this is the first step. You're going to put it outside. Your paper is going to become kind of bleached, but the areas that have your plants or whatever you're using are going to be blue. You're gonna come inside and you're gonna rinse it. And then the colors will change so that what was white will turn back to blue. And then what was blue will turn to white. Um, it's not gonna be as dark as this shade here until it's completely dry. So it'll be, all of this will be blue, but it's not gonna be this deep blue shade. So I'm gonna go outside and expose this and then um, come back and show you what it looks like. All right, so today is very sunny, so this did not take long at all. You can see how it's kind of bleach looking. There are some shadows because I didn't have the acrylic pressed down too hard, um, but I think it's gonna look interesting. So I've got my, and you can do this in the sink, but I've got a bucket of water here. So you just wanna rinse it off.
So it's hard to tell with the with the camera. Um, but what you are going to notice after you start rinsing it is that the areas that were white that got bleached by the sun are now turning blue and it's kind of a light shade of blue right now. And then the areas that were covered are turning back to a lighter shade. So you can kind of see the different um, flower shapes there. So I'm just going to soak this for a little while longer just to make sure I've got everything off. I've got a paper towel here. And I'm just going to let this dry. All right. So we won't be able to really see what this looks like until um, it's completely dry. So I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to come back and see what it looks like. All right, so it's the next day. This is dried off. It's not as light as I'd hoped it would be, um, and I think that's because in the middle of this, the wind blew away <laughs> the um, cover, and so the flowers ended up moving and it got exposed to the light. But you can still see the outline uh, of where the flowers were. Um, this is more what they look like when the cover, the plastic cover stays on. So if you're able to kind of weigh it down, but just make sure that whatever you put down to weigh it down is not on top of the paper because that will add another uh, white space um, or tape it down to the sidewalk or something or just do it on a day that's not uh, windy. So this is what it should look like. You got the very white spaces. This was done um, with hydrangeas. Those are really good because they've got the really thin petals, but they're still overlapping and you can see the detail of each of the petals in the center of the flower. So these are just some of my other finished pieces. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, but that is the process, and I hope you have fun making your prints. I'll see you next time.